Tyrannosaurus rex and its links to chickens and ostriches. In evolutionary terms, Tyrannosaurus rex is closely related to the chicken. Birds are a distinct group of animals that descended from the dinosaurs. So does this make chickens actually dinosaurs? For a long time, scientists have been comparing bird and dinosaur skeletons and suggesting their morphological similarities. They also analyzed anatomical resemblances of the nests, although some dinosaurs buried their eggs using a crocodilian style. New fossil finds, for example, of the oviraptor nests suggests that some dinosaurs built open nests on the ground, mirroring the nests of birds. It was also proven that many of the dinosaurs had feathers, perhaps not for flight, but for thermoregulation and display when trying to attract mates. Paleontologists view Archaeopteryx as the best example of a transition fossil between dinosaurs and modern birds. For many years, it was viewed as the earliest known bird with a blend of avian and reptilian features. Taking all into account, the researchers tried to back up this hypothesis with more evidence. Sometimes discoveries are results of unplanned accidents. This was the case for the scientist Jack Horner and the team of the Museum of the Rockies, who found a bone of a Tyrannosaurus rex beneath 1,000 cubic yards of rock at the Hell Creek Fossil Site in Montana in 2003. When they tried to fit the giant femur inside their helicopter, it appeared it was too big. Therefore, the team had to break it in half. This unlucky situation turned into a lucky discovery of well-preserved unfossilized dinosaur soft tissues inside of this bone. Who knows? Perhaps if they had a larger means of transport, they wouldn't recover any DNA sample from these remains. Mary H. Schweitzer of North Carolina State University and the North Carolina Museum of Natural Sciences analyzed the tissues under a microscope in 2005. At the time of the study, the material looked similar to the cells and blood vessels found in ostrich bones. Schweitzer reached out to John M. Asara and Louis C. Cantley, both of Beth Israel Deaconess Medical Center and Harvard Medical School, who soon became involved in analysis of what she suspected was the collagen protein. They first retrieved and sequenced tiny pieces of collagen protein from T-Rex. This structural protein presents slightly differently in many animals. Although the scientists only had six peptides, just 89 amino acids from T-Rex. They were able to establish these relationships with a relatively high degree of support. Having had more data from more molecules than just collagen, they would be able to prove the T-Rex branch of the phylogenetic tree between alligators and chickens and ostriches. A year later, Asara, who was well known for his expertise in mass spectrometry techniques, together with Chris Organ from Harvard University and other colleges, used modern algorithms to compare the 68 million year old amino acid sequence from T. rex collagen with the collagen protein of 21 living animals, including humans, chimpanzees, mice, chickens, ostriches, alligators, and salmon. The study confirmed that Tyrannosaurus rex protein shares common ancestry mainly with chickens, including turkey and ostriches. The next strongest match was to alligators. So let's talk about chickens. It is Easter after all. Chickens belong to the family Phasianidae. Their habitats are mainly rainforests or fields. They are quite common birds that live worldwide. They feed mostly on grain and other seeds fruit, leaves, worms, insects, and waste scraps. The usual lifespan is about three to five years. 
although it could be more depending on the breed. Chickens can reach sizes of 42 to 75 centimeters, which is 17 to 30 inches. The population of chickens around the world is an estimated 33 billion. It is more than any other kind of bird. But how were the chickens domesticated? It is believed that domestication most likely occurred around seven to 10,000 years ago in Southeast Asia and Oceania. They were originally bred from the wild red jungle fowl of India. These birds can be found at the edge of rainforests. In animal husbandry, domesticated chickens together with domesticated turkeys, guinea fowl, ducks and geese are known as poultry. They are kept on farms or small holdings and fed mainly on grain and kitchen scraps. There are hundreds of chicken breeds in existence. They are kept for their meat, eggs or feathers and down. As soon as young chickens have hatched, they follow the first moving objects they see, which is usually their mother. This is called imprinting. It only takes a few hours after hatching for them to run about and find their own food. If they are the first to find and eat food before an adult has eaten, they could get themselves into trouble. The male chicken is called a rooster. The rooster has a flock of hens and guards them not only from rival males, but also from predators like foxes. The female chickens are called hens, and they are very protective of their little ones. They call their chicks back if they sense danger or bad weather. The chick can then hide under their mother's wings. If a female chicken is healthy, it can lay eggs, whether or not she mated with a rooster. Unfertilized eggs will never develop and hatch into a chick. To lay eggs, hens should get plenty of daylight, ideally around 14 to 16 hours. The hens begin to lay eggs when they are about 18 to 22 weeks old. They usually lay an egg about once a day and may occasionally skip a day. It takes about 24 to 28 hours for a hen to develop an egg. Chicken hens can produce between 200 to 300 eggs per year. However, there are some breeds that are more abundant. The incubation period is about 21 days. Wild chicks build their nests in thick undergrowth and sit on their eggs until they hatch. In domestic environments, farmers remove eggs as soon as they have been laid and the hens keep producing them. In the wild, Chickens form complex social hierarchies, which are known as pecking orders. Every chicken, regardless of their sex, knows their place on the social ladder. They remember the faces and ranks of more than 100 other birds. It is a sign that their complex social structures and good memories prove advanced intelligence comparable to that of mammals. Each chicken presents a unique personality that often relates to his or her place in the pecking order, exactly like other animals, whether it is a dog, a cat, or a human. Researchers who studied chickens' behavior found that they passed down their cultural knowledge from generation to generation. Chickens communicate using dozens of types of vocalizations for different scenarios. It might be difficult to imagine seeing modern chickens only eating seeds, when their ancestors were one of the most feared predators of their time. This means that although dinosaurs were similar to reptiles, modern-day reptiles are their more distant cousins rather than birds. 66 million years ago, a giant asteroid hit the Earth and wiped out 75% of life on the planet, and all of the biggest dinosaurs died out. But amongst the survivors were a small group of ground-dwelling birds. Thanks to the smaller size, their bodies required less food, and they were able to find safe, smaller shelter after the disaster. Although the chickens are not dinosaurs, they are a result of the long evolutionary process of its ancestor and the closest creatures we've got. Crocodiles are older than chickens that lived amongst the dinosaurs. However, they didn't form a family. 
Once the researchers found out the unpredictably close relationship between chickens and dinosaurs, they tried to reverse engineer a chicken to its ancestor. One research team led by Yale paleontologist and developmental biologist Bart Anjai S. Bula, together with a Harvard developmental biologist Arhat Abjanov, conducted the first successful reversion of a bird's skull features back in 2015. Their aim was to replicate and transform chicken embryos in a laboratory environment in a way that it turns its beak into a snout and palate configuration similar to Velociraptor and Archaeopteryx, both being smaller dinosaurs. Buller took samples from embryonic chickens and changed a few genes. They managed to develop chickens that grew up to have a snout that looked like a dinosaur's. Not too long after turning a beak into a snout, another researcher from the University of Chile, J.F. Botello, developed in regular chickens a tubular, dinosaur-like fibulas on their lower legs. It resulted in reconnection of the fibula to the ankle, a trait that was lost in the transition or evolution from ancient dinosaurs to their modern avian relatives. So how long until we have a chickenosaurus? Many more modifications are needed to revert a chicken into a dinosaur. Jack Horner has been a long-time supporter of the idea of modifying a chicken to look like a dinosaur and is confident that the scientists are 50% there. According to him, only four major modifications are now needed. This includes giving it teeth, a long tail, and revert its wings back into arms and hands. The creature would also need a modified mouth, a feat accomplished by the researchers who did this latest study, he said. To quote, This dino chicken project is huge and requires a lot of funding and research. End quote. Horner compares this to the Moon Project with lots of huge hurdles. Potentially, a vertebrate's DNA could still contain genetic information of its ancestors. Although the information in it may not be 100% accurate or complete, but it can be a source of a lot of the information from their ancestors. Scientists believe that it will take only decades to achieve the desired result. And then, the Chickenosaurus will rule the Earth. Well, it will walk it at the very least. And from Historosaurus and myself, Baldemort, we hope you have a magnificent Easter.